Nick, you as a naturalist, a materialist, do not believe in the real existence of anything non-physical like a soul, but you have claimed that our imagination that we have souls are extremely important for the evolution of consciousness and indeed of human beings. So much so, you've said that souls are more important than religion. I'd like to understand what that means. Well, I think that the evolution of the soul long predated religion. Religions are a relatively late arrival on the scene, but humans had become spiritual beings uh, long before they became religious beings. And they'd become spiritual beings by virtue of their experience of who they were as conscious creatures. Uh, the very in, in encapsulating this mystery, uh, which is the one we all wake up to every morning. We don't have to be religious to believe we're very, very special. And it was that belief in our spe being special and in the specialness of other human beings, which led to the most important developments in the history of the human species, which was the evolution of a culture of the soul, what I've called the soul niche, a world in which we believed that we were living among people, all of whom possessed this wonderful internal phenomenon. All of them were as important, as, as precious to themselves as we had discovered we are to ourselves. We live in soul land, we live as in you've soul said. Land, yes. <laughs> now that happened a long time ago. Um, and of course it's universal across all the world cultures. Everybody has that conception of the soul. And that's important for evolution, for selection, for evolution building our consciousness, so to speak. Well, it, it was one of the reasons that, that consciousness got reinforced by natural selection. Mm -hmm. Yes, if it had been allowed to lapse, then if people had had, had less of that idea of of how the, the, of, the, of the, their own soulfulness, um, then they'd have lived less uh, effective lives. But this, in fact, is a massive illusion. So your claim is that the most important thing, to quote you, that has generated our most distinguishing characteristic of consciousness is founded not on the reality of some non-physical soul, but on the uh, artifact of a complete massive illusion that yeah, has okay, been well, I mean, played on Yes, us. it's an illusion, but um, I mean, don't misunderstand me. I do think human beings are very special. Um, human beings have extraordinary qualities to them. It's just we're not quite as special as we like to think we are. <laughs> and it's been, it's been uh, our conception that we almost are on the level of the gods, which has transformed our lives. Um, and because it's made us ambitious in ways we wouldn't otherwise conceivably have been to make more of human society and human life to create works of art and of scholarship and which will outlast ourselves and outlast history if possible because we matter. Um, we have a duty to make our mark in the universe um, to, to correspond to the meaning which we discover in life. Now, uh, you may think that, of course, it's synonymous with being religious beings. I don't think that's true. Um, I'm not a religious being in the least, and yet I have that conception of myself and the grandness of my place in the universe. Religion came relatively late, let's say 10,000 years ago, and found in human beings highly fertile ground. Mm -hmm. Humans were spiritual before they were religious, but religion came in as an institution and co-opted people's souls, gave a whole new story to tell about them, uh, made them think that, that made people believe that their souls were actually dependent on some divine uh, giver of of, 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 of of souls to creatures as if we only have them on license, as it were, from God. Um, and the rest is history. We know how effective institutional religions have been in conning people into believing that uh, they aren't who they think they are, they aren't, they aren't, they, they aren't as wonderful as they are just by virtue of their nature, but that this is a gift and perhaps only a conditional gift from God. I think actually that organized religion, if anything, undermines spirituality. I think we'd find more, and we do find, deeper understanding of human spirituality in people who actually don't believe in God. You use the term spirituality in a, a totally naturalistic, materialistic mm -hmm. way. You are not referring to anything beyond the physical in that spirituality. It's more of a 
good feeling, if you will. Well, no, it's a it's a belief in something which seems. To but it's us, a false belief. It's a it's a yes, it's a false belief in the sense that any yes. So, are you defining amazing. spirituality as a false belief? Well, it, it's not. It's the fact that it's a false belief doesn't contribute to what it does for us. We think it's a true belief, and it's our belief in the reality of the human spirit and all the baggage which goes with that, which is what changes our lives. So yes, at some level, it's an illusion. It's a trick played on us by our own brains, having been put up to it by the process of natural selection, which found that humans who, and maybe some of our ancestors before humans, who had that sort of illusion, lived more effective lives. Um, so yes, it's it's a, it's a trick at that level, but nonetheless, uh, the greatest trick which has ever been played on anything in the universe, I imagine. <laughs> so evolution found by accident this concept of the human soul, which, although completely false and illusory, generates the kinds of behaviors which leads not only to the selection of certain kinds of beings and the emergence of human beings, mm -hmm. but the production of those human beings of great kinds mm -hmm. of things like art. And let's, and let's of course, not forget that, I mean, this isn't all natural selection. Cultural evolution has mm -hmm. taken up the idea of the soul and run with it. And, of course, the soul, as we think of it in our contemporary lives, is, of course, as much a product of a whole series of, of historical cultural facts as of anything which have changed in our brains. But the net result, yes, has been that we are here and by virtue of uh, a trick which was played on us by nature.